Well, Rab King Sheeran is currently the shortest price of your Derby contenders, 33 to 1 with Star Sports. Would you say he's your best chance of Derby winner? Yeah, yeah. Man, it's, it's hard to tell yet because if Beyonce comes back or Jesse J runs not him, he'll be good. And Jesse J would be Mary Arela, whereas he's a wide runner. And it was never a favourable track for me for wide runners. So. But listen, the old boy, he's, he's in good form and all the rest of it, so no reason why no. You like for head rub, I know that. Uh, Obviously, it could be a bit better being a wide runner this year at Nottingham with a change of traps. That could help him. Yeah, that's what you're hoping for, Jules. That it's a level playing field and we'll see how we go. But listen, there's some good dogs out there. We'll take our chance. We'll have a bit of fun. The dogs will have a bit of fun. And that'll be their, I would say this will be their last derbies. Where is he at right now? Because I know you've got a little bit of a problem with him right now, haven't you? Yeah, he's got a wee bit on the shoulder, he done it at that last race, he's, it's nothing serious, he'll be alright in a couple of weeks. We're working away with him with the ultrasound, we've had him all uh, treated and all the rest of it, so it, it's a matter of just doing him with the ultrasound and working away with that and the box, the magneto box and all the rest of it. And he's been kept going up in the field, it doesn't matter whether if it's injuries, I, I, I never ever let them lie in their bed, I always work them even through their injury because I think it's a, a thing that helps it. He's done you proud, hasn't he? I mean, let's not forget uh, this dog has a broken hock. Yeah, and He's yeah. gone on to win numerous competitions, Listen, finals galore, what a dog he's been for. He's, he's been brilliant, he's been brilliant. I can't wait, can't wait to get some puppies out of him. Somewhere along the line, there'll be definitely puppies out of him running about this place. Well, that is King Shear, and he is a 33 to 1 chance at the moment with Star Sports for the Derby. So, this now is Queen Jessie J, who is likely to go in for the Star Sports Derby. Of course, a uh, Monmore Gold Cup finalist. She's uh, got some, some great form behind her, but more than that, Rad, you've always really, really rated her, haven't you? Very yeah. highly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, and last week just seemed to. The dog she was in against, and all the rest of it, just seemed to bring everything together with her. I think she will. She's a great bitch. It's no surprise that she's got a nice tone of early. She's out of Lemony Turbo and skates on. You don't get much more early in the breeding than that, do you? But mm. she stays well as well, doesn't she? Yeah, well, King Turbo was out of Lemony Turbo and Wee Tiger Tots, and the early was there with him, and he stayed the 500 metres. And I think this bitch is much the same idea as the King Turbo dog. How would you compare her to Queen Beyonce? Bit more early, but Beyonce was hell of a bitch. Beyonce, I can't wait to see his pops light, but she was a hell of a bitch in racing. She's got great temperament, everything about her is just so much like her mum, but stronger. And this bitch is just following the same footsteps as Beyonce and her mum. She's this bitch will, as long as everything stays all right, there's no worries with this bitch. This bitch will win. If she gets a chance, she'll win. How do you think Nottingham will suit her? That, you can never tell. You can never tell with, with Nottingham. You can't second guess Nottingham. Nottingham's a track that once I've had a few runs, they either take to Nottingham or they don't take to Nottingham. It's one of those things that I, 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 I can't put my hand in it and say, this is the reason, that's the reason. I can't do that. All I can say is I've had dogs going in there that I've never taken to a place and I've had dogs that's went in there and after a couple of runs, they've run it well. So you've just got to wait and see how it goes. But I, I can't see a problem with this bitch. I think this bitch will be fine. I think you'll be excited to take her there, won't you? I'll be proud. I'll be proud, I'll be very proud. Well, this is King Dylan, another uh, member of the Derby team for Liz and Rab McNair. Absolutely beautiful dog. We were just saying, Rab, such a sort of dote of a dog. He just. He's got those eyes, he looks at you, he listens to you. He's like a human and a dog. Perfect pet for an old couple or an old man or an old woman. Just maybe stay in a cell. This dog would sit and listen to all their problems and it would probably cheer them up. He's got that, he's got that ability to just look at you and just change your day. You know what I mean? So he's just, he's just one of those dogs who's such a gentle, he's, it wouldn't matter, the end they could walk him, it wouldn't matter if, it, if they were four year old or 70 year old, this dog would never do anything out of your hand, he would just walk away there, he would sit all day and listen to all the problems and then say, Mum will go a wee daughter.
clear the air. He's absolutely lovely. But before those retirement days come, he's heading to Nottingham for the Star Sports Derby. Uh, six months ago, you said to me, you just had a funny feeling about this dog this year. Is that still there? This dog's always... I, I thought he would have got the 630 at Marmor, but it's probably just a wee bit too far. The 575 at Romford's Murray's trip. But not I mean, he ran Nottingham well enough. Uh, last year, can't I remember where he... Oh, is this the dog that come, he came free off the piece to beat Magical Bill? And I, he, he's a bit of a dog that, if he gets a chance, but he, he's been a great wee dog. He's been, I mean, he's been a lot of big finals and all the rest of it, so he, he, he's trapped and let him do it back and forward. But I think I, I always thought this year would be his year because he's so laid back and all the rest of it. And I thought the older he got, the, the, the wiser he would get. So we'll just need to wait and see, but more and more didn't work out from. We'll see how Romford goes and then up the street to Nottingham. He's 125 to 1 at the moment with Star Sports. Would you be taking that? Uh, I, I wouldn't talk to him it. It's a bit skinny for him. He's a bit. Uh, he, 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 he's no got fantastic trapping ability and he's no got fantastic early. He's all right. But what he does do, he starts running to the second bend and he's got a great back straight pace. So, listen, there's the, the one thing, I'll, I'll make a statement just now. There will be a lot worse dogs than this dog in the derby. There will be a lot worse dogs than him. He, he, he'll go up there and he, he goes in and this is the way he is and it's just so easy. And he'll get in and take it on his stride. Nothing will phase him. Bad time of year for the derby with all the fireworks and everything and that could be going off. That would play right down to this dog because this dog would think it was party time. Well, if there's a beauty contest, he'd definitely win it. That's for sure. This is King Dylan currently 125 to 1 for this year's Star Sports Derby. Well, I'm going to introduce you to another candidate for the uh, Liz and Rad McNair Star Sports Derby team now. This is Queen Beyonce, Derby semi-finalist last year, of course, and uh, subsequently retired after suffering an injury. But, Rad, uh, much to your delight, she could well be heading to Nottingham again. Yeah, well, listen, I I've kept my eye on it. It's always looks good, so we'll just need to wait and see if she puts up with a couple of few runs and she'll get a hand slap on Thursday. She's already had two, so... We'll get another one on Thursday and after that it'll be in the boxes, she'll get a couple of sprints. Then it'll be up to Nottingham and see how she was. She was one of the ones that did love the place. She absolutely thrived on it and she came right at the right time and put on a good show for us. She really, listen, I've never been as proud as what I was with this bitch and she so they were just magnificent for me. She loved Nottingham. She was unbeaten through to the semi-final, of course, where she was uh, sadly eliminated. You even tried to breed from her, but uh, maybe luckily for you in the end, she didn't take. And, and you thought she was in pup because you put quite a lot of weight on her, didn't you? Well, I didn't put the weight on her, but the, 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 the girl put a bit of weight on her. But she does that with my bitches when they're in seat, when they're mated. So the uh, pup's got a good start, you know what I mean? But she's, she's trimmed down now. She's ready to rock and roll. She feels good. She looks good. Listen, it would be... They say things happen for a reason. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why she never had any pots. Maybe she thinks that she should win the derby before she does, so... That would be nice. It would be something to think back and that, that that's why it didn't happen, but... Uh, what I would say is, if she came in season tomorrow, she wouldn't have been in the derby. I would meet her. She looks in absolutely great shape. Fingers crossed we do see her at Nottingham again, because you... Well, we know the talent's there, but best bitch you've ever trained, potentially? I've had some great bitches. Show us the lemma, skate on and all the rest of it. No, listen, she was, she, she, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say a bad one, but you're, you're asking me to choose between bitches and mine, Ken, and all the rest of it. No, I wouldn't do that, because in, in my eyes, they're all, they're all good, they're all stars. In their own right, they all do things differently. They all do things... They've got pace, they've got plenty of energy about them and all the rest of it, and they've got plenty of track craft, so I, I wouldn't say best bitch I've ever trained, I wouldn't say no the best bitch I've ever trained, so I wouldn't like to say that. I would just say that she's been, she's always done me proud every time she's been in there, and I've always felt very happy 
to get, walk into a trap. We are very proud to walk into a trap with you. And the same with the rest of my dogs, I've always felt. Uh, I, I think that's the breeding side of it. I think that's what that's all about. Well, she's got a lot of fans and the proven ability at Nottingham as well. So if that injury holds up at 80 to 1, she could be a good price for this year's Star Sports Derby. Well, this is King Lennon, who uh, is going to be having an operation probably in the next few days, Lids, because unfortunately he's, uh, he's got some poorly tonsils in there. Yeah, so both sides and great big red watches on them, so he'll, he'll need them out. Is it going to be a race against time to get him back for the derby? How big an operation is it? It's, it's not a great big operation. The quicker we get it done, the better. It'll, it'll not be off that long, but, but it's just getting it done. You've stepped him up to six pens recently, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so he's, he's a bit of a dog like, in behind. He's clumsy. He would trip over a blade of grass. But he, he is very fast. If he gets out in front, he's very, very fast. Is he a better dog this year than last year? Yes, he, uh, he is a better dog, but <clears throat> it's plenty of strength. The, the further it goes, the better it gets. He's 125 to 1 at the moment for the Star Sports Derby. Is that fair? Mm, yeah. Yeah, the, the, way, the way these dogs come out, they've got to get a bit of luck. Yeah, they have to do it the hard way, but they're full of ability. This is uh, King Lennon, 125 to 1 for this year's Star Sports Derby. Well, I'm going to introduce you now to King Axel. We've been Rab struggling to keep control of this one. He's a bit of a live wire, Rab. What a character. Nah, the girls at Central Park have they've spoiled him. But this is one dog that's in the kennel. He's, listen, the one thing about this dog, I think people will pay me to take this dog to go and stay with him. Everybody wants this dog. Everybody wants this dog as a pet because he's so happy, his tail never stops. He's such a lovable dog, and all the kennel girls doing it at Central Park, they all love him. I think that that's, they're, they're desperate to take him home for a pet. You're not in the business of pet dogs, though. You want uh, the top class races. How good is King Axel? Uh, he, was, he was coming properly. He was, he, he was looking as if he was going to be real, real top class. Everything was looking good for him. He's just got a wee bit of problem down here. He's, just one of those things, we've done all the treatments, he's been off quite a wee while with it now, so he'll go for a hand slip on Thursday, we'll see how, I think his last run round Central Park was 28.90, I think he'd done a 28.60 well, just playing about with him and that Jules, and I think this does get the potential to go right to the top, if it, that holds out, then this dog will go, but he, he, he looked, he always looked as if he always coming through off the pace, to win his races, and he always looked to me as if he was going to be a right top class six bender, but that's the way he was bred, he was bred to be a six bender. That's where his future lies. That could play into his hands out in Ossium, couldn't it? Because it is quite a stiff 500 metres. How do you think he'll fare that track? I don't think any track bothers this dog. I think he just walks in and takes everything in his stride. As long as there's somebody... I think if somebody pays a wee bit of attention to him, somebody outside the kennel, pays a wee bit of attention to this dog, he thinks he's, oh, this is hard, that he's at home. That's one thing about him, he's, he's never been hard to, nay awkwardness, nay nothing like that, nay quacks or nothing like that. The only thing he wants to do is get in and make, get a fuss. He, he loves getting fussed over. He is an absolutely lovely dog, and King Axel could be a real talent. He's uh, 80 to one currently for the Star Sports Derby, raring to go. <laughs> So this is King Drake. This is a uh, sister of Queen Jessie J, also out of Liamy Turbo and Skate On in May 2018. Um, very interesting meeting him here today, Rab, because obviously he has an amazing turn of early, just like Jessie J. You're a little bit worried about whether or not he'll stay, but looking at his physique, he looks more the same type, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's just taking the time, these pups, to see that they, they, they missed a big lot of the career with, with the lockdown and it was a bad time for these youngins to come through because these were enjoying it and they were loving coming through to it but that wee lockdown didn't do these dogs any favours. It didn't the old ones favours but no these ones. What do you think then leading up to the Star Sports Derby? The, the produce takes will tell me. It did, it, it was alright at more and more. I think he did something like 28-20 or 28-30 round more and more. 
and he was young then, he was in the puppy derby and that. I think he's come on and I think he's matured a wee bit better. Plus the fact, what I did notice about these Lehman Eye turbos and skate-ons, and I get it all the time with the skate-on like that, that you have to be very careful, you have to watch their weights very, very, every day you have to watch their weights because even Beyonce, if you showed them an empty dish, they would put a pound on and you have to be very careful when you're feeding them. And these are the same, I have to be very careful. What can you do as a trainer to try and get him staying a little bit better if that becomes an issue? I think it's either there or it's not there. It's, it's a natural, it's like the eight benders, six benders, if they, if they can stay, they can stay. But they're fit, they're fed well, they're fit. They're, I mean, look at him, he's so fit and unbelievable. Everything about him, but he's, he has come on a lot in the last two or three weeks. I've seen a big change in him. The weather's changing again. I think it was a bit hot there for all the dogs and all the rest of it. So I, I'm just hoping that everything falls into place for the produce steaks and the produce steaks will tell me a lot about what's these, this letter, what is going for the derby and what's not. He's a big price at the moment with Star Sports, 125 to 1. If he progresses in the way you hope, that could look big. It would look big. It would look massive because... This dog's got the early. He's got massive early. So, I mean, he's in the, the, the British Bread final on Sunday, and the, the early pace he showed on Sunday there was phenomenal. He's done a great run on Sunday morning, so I think if he can stay, if, and I, I'll always remember it is, it's a big if, but if it all comes together, this will be a good dog. So this is King Cash, who is a big price for this year's Star Sports Derby, 200 to 1 at the moment, Brad, but definitely a part of your team. You're, yeah, you're sure yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah, this dog's got a bit more early. This dog's, I, I think this year will be more suited to run them because it, it's the same old thing, he's a wide runner, but he's got a bit more early than Dylan in that and he can stay every bit as good as Dylan in that. So, uh, I like this dog, this dog's got a, a, a good bit of pace and he can you can go to the corner and hatch it right. Looking a bit grey, bless them. As you said, they are getting on a little bit now. February 2017, they are. What do you make of that sort of age for the Derby? I'd never ever bought me before. I think the first Derby finalist ever I had was called Ray Fast Trap, and I think he was coming up in four or just about four. The old dogs are always... See, the, the thing about the three-and-a-half-year-old dogs and the three-year-old dogs, they're maybe carrying a wee bit niggles back and forward and that. But if they're all right, they've got the mentality to go in for a derby. They've got all that about them, whereas young dogs, like when I was in the derby we even the kid, was a bit young, and it was a bit kind oh, what's all this and all the rest of it. Whereas these old dogs, have, they've been in Cat 1 finals, they've seen the crowd, they've heard the crowds, and sometimes the experience can be a blessing there. This is King Cash. He is uh, 200 to 1 for this year's Star Sports Derby. Two more members of the Star Sports Derby team now. This is King Bruno here in the green collar and Queen Lily in the red collar. Uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, kennel together, Rab. These two you're keeping an eye on over the next few weeks. I, I think she'll definitely stay. I think she'll definitely get the... Whether she gets the 500, I don't know, but I think she'll definitely get the 480. And she's got a gr great turn early. Uh, I, I, my mind's not made up about him yet, but Swindon's going to tell us an awful lot about these pups as long as they keep progressing through to the final. Because come that time, once I've had three or four runs over it, then that will tell us everything whether we're not unbound with these are uh, hollow bound. It's, the, 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 it's just one of these positions that we're in just now that because of the lockdown and all the rest of it, these pups are behind as far as getting over the 480s and that, but I definitely think this bitch, I've seen this bitch go and stay in the 488 Central Park when she was very young, she ran well, she impressed me that day, so I, I think she, she just never had the chance because she, she came in season, and then it was all about starting over again with her and locked down and then season and bringing it through and all the rest of it, so I, I, I think she'll be, I, I don't think there's much between her and Jessie J. Wow, that is a statement. Uh, she is very young, despite the fact she looks like a, a bit of an old girl. She's going grey a bit prematurely there. Uh, what's your gut feeling on these two, Liz? Um, well, he, when he gets it right, he can go well clear, but <laughs> but he's, 
it struggles to see it, just know we'll just have to eat and see, see how they progress. So the preparation will be the produce at Swindon. Keep an eye on how they progress to see if you want to get on them for the Star Sports Derby and the anti-post basic. Well, here we have King Sam and King Louis. King Sam, the black dog, King Louis, the blue dog. Uh, you were just telling me about their names, Rab, who they're named after. He's King Sam, he's after Sam Smith. He's King Louis, after Louis Armstrong. He was a blues singer and he's a nice blue dog. And they are beautiful big dogs. They're different breeding, these two. Just remind us which litter they are. No, he's a, he's a little brat, uh, Queen Jessie Jane, 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 Queen Lily and King Bruno and that. Big dog, big powerful dog. He's another dog that I have to watch his weight very carefully away because the last time I run him at more and more, I think he'd done about a 28.60. But he was away up at 37 kilos. I've trimmed him back now and tried to look after him. I've got him down to about 36 kilos, so I'm hoping that was... He definitely was the stay in the 480 during the Puppy Derby. Uh, so I'm, I'm just kind of hoping that he, now that he's kind of pulled into what he should be like, I'm, I'm hoping that the produce station definitely tell us a lot about this dog. Okay, and same to King Louis, you're going to be watching him through the produce? Uh, King Louis, he'll stay, the 500 metres is on his mark, he's a bit older than these, he's a January, but uh, he's won some good races. When he gets it right out of boxes, he's good dog, won some great races around Central Park, him and his sisters, uh, Queen Dolly and Queen Franklin. Uh, you see how I did that, Queen Franklin, Franklin and Louis Armstrong, and Anita, Fra Anita Franklin, Aretha. And Aretha Franklin, they were all blues singers and these are all blue kind of dogs and bitches, so that's the way I done that, but listen, he's a good dog when he gets it right, the produce takes for him and his sisters and these pups will be a big telling point for us. Obviously you're going to learn a lot, Liz, but you've got feeling of these two, which... If you had to take one of these two, say, which to the derby? Louis. Louis already won round Nottingham. Yeah. He won just before lockdown. He's good when he's got truck six. He needs truck six, so if he gets that, he's, he's handy. Yeah, Rob was questioning whether or not Louis would go, but Liz definitely wants him in, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I think he's all right. There we go, right. King Sam, King Louis, two more Star Sports Derby contenders.